Yeah, that looks perfect, guys. Hi, I'm Gavin McInnes, professional movie star. That means that you should care what I have to say when I talk about movies. Animal House is in theaters again. You remember that? I think it's from 1978. And uh, it's in theaters across the country right now, and it's worth checking out. You know why? Because it's perfect. Here, allow me to explain. It was written by Stork, the guy who plays Stork in the movie. He's the guy who says, what are we supposed to do, you moron? That guy wrote Caddyshack, too, and eventually killed himself because Caddyshack had bad reviews. He gave up. But that is not the moral of the story. The moral of Animal House is never give up. Don't get mad, get even. Remember when they were on double secret probation? They were told they shouldn't have a toga party because it'll be really bad for them. And Otter, remember Otter? He says, uh, I got news for you there, bud. Uh, they're going to nail us no matter what we do, so we might as well have a good time. And have a good time they do by having the most fantastic toga party ever. A toga party so good that when a guy shows up to sing that stupid I Gave My Love a Cherry song, they destroy his guitar. I give... Sorry. Then, when they kick them out of school, John Belushi gives a wonderful speech that assumes the Germans bomb Pearl Harbor. German? Forget it, he's rolling. It ain't over now! Cause when the going gets tough! The tough get going! Who's with me? Let's go! Come on! And they get a death mobile that destroys everyone in their wake. You know what happens to them after that? They go on to greatness. They do wonderful in life. And that's when you start looking at this movie and you realize, this isn't just a pretty good movie about some guys down on their luck who turn it all around. This movie is the perfect American movie. Take the scene when um, they show up to a black bar and the Jewish guy yells out, Otis, my man! We are gonna die. That's the New York Times in a nutshell. That's Chris Hayes. That's Black Lives Matter. All these people who want to be down with the black dudes and the black dudes don't really like yous. Where do you go to school? And that's really why you have to go see it in theaters again because it is more than just a great movie. Stork created an American masterpiece. It should be studied in school. Every scene is a sketch that ends with a punchline. And that's just the first layer. You go deeper and you realize that it's got allegory worthy of Milton. In fact, they talk about Milton, who was all about God versus Satan, and you're watching it going, holy cow, Donald Sutherland is Satan. Okay. Don't write this down, but I find Milton probably as boring as you find Milton. He sits there seducing students, the Virgin Mary he seduces, Eve. Uh, and when, when Eve is making out with her boyfriend, Adam, you see him smoking a joint and looking in an evil way at her. And the fact that he's even smoking pot with them is sort of like the Greek myth of Persephone where he brings her into Hades and has a pomegranate down there. So now she's forever burdened to Hades, which is why we have winter. Donald Sutherland is Satan in the movie, and that's just one tiny part of it. Everything about this movie tells you everything you need to know about everything. Okay. So that means that our whole solar system could be like one tiny atom in the fingernail of some other giant being. <laughs> Too much. So that's what's so beautiful about the movie. It's about the spirit of the West. It's about standing up for yourself no matter what authorities say and doing what you want to do. It's about not kowtowing to the rules. Are you with me? McKinnis, you're on. Let's go! Oh! Did you like that? Okay, check it out. I got a whole comedy show called How's It Going, Eh? You just have to click right here to subscribe.